Hi friends, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be making two sugared topiaries. One I purchased from the thrift store, and the second one I made with things that I had on hand at home. The first topiary is the one that I purchased from the thrift store, and it's actually very beautiful, but it has definitely seen better days, and the colors are outdated on it, and the pears don't look great. But I have seen these selling online for up to $500, and this is very tall. It is 30 inches. We're going to be using Epsom salts, I used yellow paint from the Dollar Tree and leaf green paint from Delta that I purchased at Michael's. The next thing that I do is I remove all of the pears from the topiary. I mix the yellow and the green paint together until I'm happy with the color and I paint each of the pears. After I've painted the pears, I, while the paint is still wet, I dip them into Epsom salts. And here are two of the pears, and they look beautiful, beautiful sugared pears. And the beauty of this is when you roll it into the Epsom salts, you use as much or as little as you like and to get the amount of sugaring that you want on each of the pears. And I love the way they come out. I tend to like a very heavy, heavily sugared look, so I really dipped mine in. And then on the leaves and the moss, they were looking old and the moss did not look good. I didn't want to remove all of the moss, so I purchased some Santa snow in a spray can from Walmart and I simply sprayed the entire piece. I covered up the finial on top and I covered the base just with a piece of uh, cellophane and sprayed the entire rest of the tree with the white paint. I really think that it makes a big difference adding the snow to the leaves and the moss. The next thing that I do is I begin to add all of the pears back to the topiary. And on this topiary, each of the pears had uh, a pick inserted into the styrofoam beneath it and I just removed the pears from the pick and when I put them back on I just added the pears back onto the picks and they didn't need any glue they were very stable some of them the picks came off and I did have to glue them to the moss but for the most part they just slid right back into the picks and they fit very snugly. And I'm loving the way that this tree is turning out. I love the colors and I love the juxtaposition with the dark moss still showing and some of the dark in the leaves just with the snow peeking through and I love the way this is looking. And I just continue until I have filled up the whole tree. And this is what the tree looks with all of the pears on it, with all of the moss and the leaves spray painted with the snow. And the next thing that I do is I take these picks that I purchased from Timu and I cut the picks, each pick, into five separate pieces. I want them to be very small, but it really goes a long way when you take one pick and cut it up. So I used these individual picks and hot glued them into the areas where there was a space between the pears and the leaves 
and I just continued all the way around the topiary and filled in all of the spaces that I could find with the greenery and I love it. It adds a different texture and a different color and it really adds so much to the piece. I love the way it turned out. And the next thing that I'm going to do is change the bottom. I like the gold, but I don't want so much of the gold showing through. So I painted on a crackle finish by Folk Art and I let it dry. And once it was dry, I went over the crackle finish with white acrylic paint, being very careful to only go over the paint once and dabbing in where I missed because it's so easy to lose the crackle finish if you overwork the paint. And I love the way that the crackle finish turned out on the bottom and on the finial on top. It changes the entire look of the piece. And the next thing that I did is I used bunches of red berries and I also cut the bunches into three or four pieces and I tucked the, the berries into the spaces where I thought there were still some moss showing through. I decided that I didn't want any of the moss to show through on this piece. And I absolutely love the new color introduction. I think it looks beautiful. I did hot glue all of these pieces in as well as the leaves. And they really look beautiful. And I just continue to add the berries until I have covered the entire tree. And I love the way that this tree turned out. It's complete and it really turned out so beautiful. As I said, it's a huge piece. It's 30 inches tall. It's over a foot wide at the bottom and it is a beautiful, elegant farmhouse sugared pear topiary. I took it and photographed it in the backyard, and it's still warm in Phoenix, so no snow. It's Everything is green, but I love the way that it turned out. For our second project, I used everything that I had at home. I bought the container at Timu. I had small fruit a cone from the Dollar Tree and an old finial that I removed from a lamp that I no longer needed. I did not want to ruin the, the vase. I want to be able to use it on other things. So I hot glued the cone, the styrofoam cone. I turned the lid over and I glued it onto the bottom of the cone. And this is what the finial looks like. And now I'm beginning to glue the fruit onto my piece. And the way that I glue the fruit on is I don't let any of the glue touch the top of the vase. But when I glue the miniature fruit on, I glue it not only to the styrofoam, but also to the piece next to it because the glue isn't that great to sticking to the styrofoam, so it does need the extra adhesion of sticking it, of gluing it next to the piece that is directly next to it. And I just go through and add pieces and fit them in kind of like a little puzzle and I used apples and oranges and lemons and pears for this piece and actually the apples lemons and oranges came from picks from the Dollar Tree that I pulled off the picks and I can't remember where I got the pears 
probably on Amazon or Timu. But I just continue to add the fruit all the way around the topiary until I'm satisfied with the way that it looks and until I reach the top. And this is a piece that looks beautiful, sugared or just left as is. It's your choice. Then I used these picks that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I noticed that at the very top it looked like little tiny berries and I dry fit some of them onto the topiary and I loved the way that they looked. So I took the berries off the top of these picks from the Dollar Tree and I laid them to the side and I used the Santa Snow spray that I purchased at Walmart and I sprayed the berries with snow and they turned out so adorable. Next, I'm going to take the piece off of the vase and at the very top, I'm going to insert a pencil into the styrofoam so that I can control the movement of the tree. And I used spray adhesive beacon brand from the Dollar Tree and I spray all of the fruit on the topiary. I give it a good coating of spray adhesive so that it is thoroughly covered. And once it's completely covered, I use Epsom salts and I pour it onto some plastic and directly over the piece. And I just move the piece around with the pencil in a circle and it really is a such an easy way to sugar your fruit. Super, super simple. And anything that was missing, I just sprayed a little bit more uh, adhesive on it and added some more Epsom salts. And of course, this is personal preference. You can leave it as it is, or you can add as much or as little sugar as you want onto your sugared fruit. And then I just cleaned the bottom of the lid of the container because I might want to use it again. And I placed the whole thing back into the container. And I love the way that it turned out. And the next thing that I'm doing is I'm going to paint the finial that's going to go on top. And I decided to try to match it to the harlequin in the vase. So I used black and white paint. And this particular finial already had some little swirls in the top. So I went in and every other swirl I painted with the white paint. And I just continued painting onto the finial until it, every other swirl was covered in white paint and I painted the top of the finial as well with the white paint so that it would be a good match for the bottom of the piece. I wanted to bring it all together and I thought this really did a good job of that. And once the finial is dry, I glue it on to the top of the topiary. There is a space where the pencil was. I left that without any fruit so that the finial would fit perfectly on top. And I love the way this looks. It came together so beautifully. And now I'm going to add the berries with the snow and this this the snow is still just a little bit wet so I'm using a pair of little pliers to insert this into where there, there are any holes in the topiary and I also wanted to give the topiary balance. Some of the pears were sticking out farther than the other fruit. So this really helped me achieve a balance of 
how I wanted the topiary to look without any other fruit sticking out farther than any other fruit. And I love the way that this turned out. It really looks beautiful. And this is with the fruit. And the next thing that I did is I decided to add some greenery. So I cut little pieces of greenery off some greenery that I had in my stash. And again, I just cut each piece in four or five little pieces and I dry fit them to the piece. And then I began to glue all of the pieces of greenery on to my topiary and here it is finished and I absolutely love the way that it looks it is so beautiful and with that this project is complete thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate you if you like the project please subscribe Hit the like button, leave me comments, I'd love to hear from you, and share it with your friends. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make something beautiful, and I will see you next time.